Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Komi Can't Communicate Season 2 Episode Number 11 Reaction. Alright, the previous episode it was the Valentine's Day episode and Komi with her friends, uh, you know, like uh, Onemine and uh, um, and Otori, yeah, Otori was also there. I forgot it for a moment there. Oh, all of them went to her house and uh, like, you know, made some chocolate cake which Onemine wanted to like you know give to her family and uh, all that stuff they kind of did all of that on their own and the next day obviously Komi had a chocolate for Tadano but she was kind of hesitating she, she didn't know when to put it this and that and Tadano was waiting the whole day got nothing <laughs> this is kind of sad <laughs> Like I, I feel like uh, I thought like Onemine would actually give something to Tadano, but then I realized that um, that episode when uh, Onemine, you know, like tried to talk with Tadano and Komi was like you know kind of looking at them and uh, you know like that episode, uh, Onemine realized to cheer them on. That is probably why she didn't even give like a friend chocolate to Tadano because she thought like oh Komi might be like you know like bothered by it or something like that. I'm sure she thought. Something like that. That's why I think she didn't give it. I was expecting Najimi to give something, but Najimi only takes. We saw that, you know, she only gave like a small little <laughs> thing. <laughs> Komi gave her like a chocolate. Like Najimi was like, oh, this is very good. That type of thing. So, yeah. And other than that, yeah, like, you know, none of the girls gave anything to Tadano. Obviously, uh, our boy Katai gave something to him. And uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, all that stuff happened and Tadano didn't get any chocolate he was feeling down obviously because he thought that komi was his good friend all that stuff but at night komi came to her his house and you know gave the chocolate well, again was going away but then she comes back and then gives him the chocolate and there you go tadan was happy <laughs> and yeah that's how it uh, you know like ends so let's see what this episode brings we're almost at the end i think this is episode 11 i think this season or this part of the season will have 12 episodes and we'll again have to wait for uh um, for the next season i think so anyways let's begin this is episode number 11 so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here Think it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go What's she doing? Oh yeah, she kind of said that this is the best one, but Tadano did not realize what that meant. <laughs> yeah, look at him. He didn't realize what's, what she tried to mean by that. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. <laughs> yeah was it the meat bun you probably will be able to understand yeah <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> Okay, again this scene, this scene is quite common in this show. Okay, there you go. Oh yeah, this is the intro. Okay, never mind. I was thinking, yeah. This scene, I always think that cat is Komi, you know, when they suddenly shift from Komi to that cat. I'm, I'm like, why does Komi have ears like that? And then I realize that's a cat. I guess the, <laughs> the cat and the Komi are kind of, yeah. I think we have gotten to know all the characters in the class, haven't we? Like, I don't think there's any character that is still left in the class to be introduced. 
I don't know. Okay, let's see. Oh boy. <clears throat> She's like, eh, the way it's not on. Is he here? <laughs> mm. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy, she was waiting for coming to pass. <laughs> All right. All right, everyone's just freaking out so much. <laughs> Oh god. Up oh, there he is. <laughs> oh boy, people will be suspicious, you know, if you act like that. What's okay? Well. <laughs> Yeah, she used to do that so much before. Oh yeah, that, mm. <laughs> Come on, think. I'm pretty sure you can figure it out. Oh boy, no. Come on, r realize the difference between today and the yesterday. What is the difference? You got a chocolate today. Uh, no, yesterday. Training not. <laughs> there you go. Oh my God, yo, she just ran. <laughs> yo, she, just, she left the school. Gotta run. Okay. Is she going to run again? She's go. Oh my God. Uh, her stalking. Oh my god, she's. Yep. Alright, stop, calm down. Oh my god, this girl again. Alright. Take her to the police, please. Oh my god. You're gonna get You're gonna get arrested someday. Yo, why is she so crazy today? <laughs> um hello? Tadana was like, should I actually, should I, <laughs> what the, okay, what,
Um, all right. There you go. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> wow yo this girl okay what i guess it will come in handy now but you'll you'll okay thank god i thought she was letting her okay yeah Okay, at least she's apologizing. Yeah, like I said, at least she apologized and told her. Oh, she's crying. Um. No, no. Oh my god. Um, close the door, please. Don't let Yamai. I knew she was. Oh God! I knew this something like this was going to happen. Yo! <laughs> yeah! Stop her! Oh yeah, she is. <laughs> is she... Oh my god. I was going to say she could at least like kind of put her stockings on and then go and chase her. Oh, her name is Onigashima. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. Oh, we're going to see more of her. She has an interesting name, Onigashima, which is like the Momotaro, like, you know, the... <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, oh, oh, that's why her name is Onigashima. Oni. Okay. Okay, well... What, what's happening? <laughs> I guess... Uh, what now? Oh my god, another red light. Okay. <laughs> this always happens, you know, earphones getting tangled. What is happening? Why is so many misfortune on? Is she unlucky or something? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she just She's like, nope, I'm not getting involved. What? Oh, okay. Like I said, she's like, I'm not going to get involved. Yo, she is. Oh my god. Ah, she becomes a demon. It's at 70 now. Oh my. Yo, she's unlucky. Not only she gets angry, but she was also unlucky.
Oh yeah, she she calms down while eating. Okay. It's going down. Yep. Oh no! I <laughs> just left. Ninety-nine point nine. Put water on your head. It'll cool, cool you down. Oh. Oh okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, can you untangle it? It's not tied up, right? It's tangled. <laughs> there you go. Right, her meter is going to come down. <laughs> her hair. Her hair completely went down. Oh, is that like a representation of her horns? Oh, interesting. <laughs> Comey land. Wait, what? The name of the place is Comey land? Okay. Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, I. Oh, nice. Damn. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Oh wow, this girl. Helpful. Oh, we've been seeing her from I think season one. We never got to properly introduce get introduced to her. Tato Amami. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Sato. I think Sato means sugar, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, sweet to people. That means Tato means sugar and she's sweet to people. Okay. There you go. She's saying Hitoni Amai, which means like she's sweet to people. And her name is Sato, which means sugar. Wow, she's just helping everyone. Has an ulterior more. <laughs> she didn't even say anything. Yeah. Wait, what I love? Oh my god. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> No, what? Hmm. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> Hopeless failures. Oh my god. Kind of. <laughs> wow, everyone's just asking her for... Yeah, because you do the stuff that other people... Yeah. <laughs> um yeah at least take half like not take half like ah there you go
Mm. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh boy, you were supposed to, yeah, you were the one who's supposed to do it. Hmm. No. <laughs> Oh boy. Same to you. Yeah, like help others, also take help from others. I guess that's the best way. Mm, yeah, she's asking for help. Mm. Yeah, there you go. I looks. Wow. What type of secret text is it? <laughs> Yeah. But they'll need to come early, you know? Okay. Oh, wow. She didn't even... <laughs> like, I, I knew she was... What is that? Storybook? No, Shogi, okay, okay. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> okay. These are crazy, like, you need to, like, you know, memorize these and everything. Yo! <laughs> Oh boy. What's happening? What's ha What's happening? Why? Uh, is she like is she thinking that they're okay i think she's just thinking like they're kind of you know like oh yeah there you go oh my god yeah i don't think that's uh, well wait is that a maid <laughs> yeah, okay, there you go. <laughs> well, there you go, it worked out. All right, so we got, I guess, official introduction, you could say. We already met these characters before. Onigashima and uh, Sato but we got like an official introduction to those two today's, in today's episode two more friends as you could say
all right that is it i think oh no there's a bonus okay oh she's at teaching them okay Ah! Another bonus, okay. Oh, this girl. Ushidora. Ushiroda chan. Oh, that's why Ushiroda. She sits behind. My. That's why Maida. Oh my god. Okay, they have interesting name Ushiroda and Maeda. Like, you know, the whole wordplay Ushiro means back behind, sits behind Komi, and Maeda, Mai means in front. So, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I love the wordplay that they do in this show. Oh, that, that was good. <clears throat> Alright, so this episode, we begin this with, uh, we begin this on April, uh, not April, sorry, February 15th. Komi is just thinking about the previous night and she's like <coughs> embarrassed cannot go to school <laughs> her mom was her mom kind of was suspicious her mom was like okay i, I can understand something probably happened <laughs> oh boy anyways um komi just because she would be like you know she would lose her perfect ascent at attendance she, she had to like you know get up and go and uh, Otherwise, I think she would she would have probably just skipped today, you know, if, if there was like not that thing about this uh, full attendance. Either way, she goes to school and uh, first she meets Onimine. Onimine is like, thanks for the, you know, like chocolate and also, you know, this and that. And everyone's just coming to her and like, you know, thanking her for the chocolates. Like, uh, <clears throat> Nakanaka was just waiting, casually just like and waiting for the time when Komi will pass and she'll be like, <laughs> your chocolates were amazing something like that <laughs> oh my god and everyone like and all the um others were there uh makeru was also there here again makeru makes this like a competition about the whole um okay uh makeru chance chocolate bitterness max weakness kind of there smoothness very less off flavors max and appearance very less while komi's chocolate was sweetness was almost max smoothness is max bitterness is almost not almost max kind of there half uh appearance is max while off flavors is very low so that's why komi's chocolate won <laughs> okay anyways um so Everyone was like, you know, just thanking her and everything. And Komi tries to get in the class, and obviously she sees Tadano, and she is just trying to make her face very, like, you know, she's embarrassed and she cannot make that, like, you know, put, like, you know, bring that on her face. So she's trying to stiffen her face. And like we used to know her in in the first season, first episode, when she always used to make that face. You know, that's why uh, Tadano was like, wow, this is like you know like this reminds me of the first few days you know haven't seen that face in a while <laughs> and the little thing in the side was like i think and tadana kun kind of liked it <laughs> oh my god anyways um so obviously komi is embarrassed cannot say anything and tadana's like wait what is wrong why is she acting like this like like i I don't know why, but Tadano is very perspective, uh, perceptive in so many different things. Like, you know, I've seen multiple times when she, he's extremely perceptive, you know, like she, he can understand something that uh, probably a few other people will you know, understand it a lot late. But in these type of situations, he's just dumb. He's like so dense. He's like, I wonder what happened. But I guess, you know, he never even expected chocolates from Komi, you know, I guess that's probably the reason she doesn't he doesn't think that Komi would probably be embarrassed to give something to him that I think that that fact it doesn't even come to his mind. Probably that is why he wasn't able to understand or pinpoint the actual reason why Komi was keeping quiet. You know, and, and obviously in the previous episode, we also kind of saw when Komi tried to say that, oh, this is more special by just trying to 
hint that like you know she said like oh this is better than the others Sano did not understand that she he didn't even realize what he meant she meant by that so that's why you know like like yeah his he's what can i say like his unexpectation is that a word i think so unexpectation expectation is a word unexpectation is that a word i don't think so anyways <laughs> his unexpectation that is probably the reason why he didn't understand why komi was like you know like keeping quiet he didn't even expect anything because you know like komi was so late in giving the chocolate to him and he got nothing from anyone in the class so thinking that oh komi might be embarrassed doesn't even come to his mind that's why he's like oh why is she like that did something happen and then she, he was like all right let me just thank her for the chocolate and uh, he's like oh thank you for the chocolate it was very good thanks for going through the trouble and komi just stood and left the class <laughs> embarrassed running away okay the next part oh my god this part and yamai is up to her antics again <laughs> but at least she she by the end of it she was able to control herself i guess she actually went and told komi but she also does something which mm, yeah was very questionable either way the first thing that happens is Komi's stocking kind of gets like in you know, a little hole in it and obviously like uh, Yamai is like Komi's personal stalker so nothing would go like you know nothing would miss her eyes she saw that and she's like oh my god let me get some pictures and then she starts thinking about what she should do she should she tell Komi if she tell Komi then you know like Komi will be embarrassed but she also doesn't want Komi to uh, like you know go like this to back to her house this and that and and obviously you know the usual like you know like scenarios fantastical scenarios in her mind she's just having them and she's like oh my god i'm going to be the shadow of komi i'm going to save her from everyone this that you know typical yamai <laughs> tadano was trying to <laughs> say something but he's like what should i even do here like you know like Tano did not see the uh, the thing like the, the tear thing Yamai is the only one who saw that but Tadano I, I think I was very curious about why Yami, Yamai was acting like that <laughs> but he doesn't say anything either way Yamai is just going crazy and after a long time she decides that all right I should probably tell Komi so after class she calls Komi tells her and Komi tries to feel for it and she's like oh yeah it's true and then this the weirdness starts <laughs> yamai brings out from her bag and she's like i always carry a spare pair of 80 dinya tights you wear <laughs> why <laughs> why <laughs> what <laughs> this oh my god but like i said at least today it came handy you know I guess for today we will have to thank Yamai for this. Anyways, Komi goes to the washroom and changes, and Yamai is like, you know, she's like, oh, I, I, I was thinking, what should I do? Should I tell you? You'll be very embarrassed if I tell you. And then I was like, no, I cannot let you go back home like this. That's why I was, like, you know, I told you. And Komi is like, obviously Komi is very innocent. Komi is like, oh, thank you, you told me. I'm glad you told me. Tells her. And Yama is crying almost. Yama is like, ah, Komi-san. You know, like, what, what, what a nice scene. And then she's like, all right, um, give me your stockings. I'll hold on to it. And oh my God. Komi was, is trying on her stockings and she looks back. And she sees, sees Yamai putting on her. Wow, what, what, okay, like, <laughs> this girl is crazy. Like, <laughs> I, like, you know what, what this reminds me of? This reminds me of those shows, you know, and, and nowadays those shows, I, 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 we barely see those shows. Like, you know, it, it's like the older shows, there's a lot of shows like this where it's like one character. You know, probably most probably the main protagonist who's just 
crazy like this you know and they do weird stuff like this continuously and and you know like there's there's no filter in anything like there's multiple shows like this you know, especially the older shows nowadays the shows are a lot you know what can i say tame in that department the main characters are actually very like you know like either they're very dense or they're very you know like uh what can i say um like you know very calm and quiet that type of a character mostly i remember like you know like like you know older shows older anime shows where like you know there was like that thing where there was like the main character was full on crazy perverted that type of a per person and they used to do stuff like this i remember yama is like that he's she's just just crazy and she, she puts that on and oh my god she just... Komi... <laughs> Komi is trying to get her and Komi is grabbing the stocking by her. and yama said i'm i'm surprised she di didn't suffocate like that Komi is actually grabbing it tight and yama is just you know just dragging it away and uh, <clears throat> she's running be behind you know um uh, uh yamai now one thing it would have been better i think if she put on her stockings and then went after yamai which without doing that she started running and she was like you know bare feet and she, she only had the slippers on and that's just it and tadano was like she was running and Tadano was like the narrator is like he got a good look and Tadano is just staring <laughs> oh my god so I don't know what happened after that probably Yamai just ran away <clears throat> anyways okay the next part we get officially introduced to Onigashima now Onigashima as far as I know it is an actual um onigashima let me check it's related to momotaro isn't it uh onigashima momotaro uh just a sec i think so yeah okay uh yeah momotaro grew up left his parents and went to onigashima demon island to fight the oni demons who wrecked havoc and plundered their land there you go onigashima the demon island now like you know like in japanese onigashima oni means demon gashima you know like the next part where shima means uh island and ga is probably the you know like where oni like you know that that type of a thing where it's it's probably like some kind of connecting word you know like onigashima which probably like translates like the island where demons live something like that that's i think the translation of onigashima now <clears throat> obviously onigashima has the word oni in it which is demon and that's why this girl here they kind of like you know, the narrator was explaining that whenever she gets mad she becomes a demon you know she becomes an oni and uh, okay let me check oh, I'm probably I'm, I'm definitely right I'm quite sure about the the translation here because uh, Onigashima yeah it's, it's definitely that's what it means still let me just check in the wiki uh, her name Onigashima Akako oh her last name is Akako or first name Akako means red girl so the fish the full name translation is the red girl from Oni Island which is the reference to a tale of Momotaro there you go I was correct so yeah that is onigashima and uh, she becomes a demon whenever she kind of gets mad and here like you know like we get introduced to her officially and at first she was like oh Tadarakun, good morning and you know she's going on her way and then red light comes in she's mad i love the fact which i this is one thing i did not realize up until the end whenever she gets mad her hair goes up like two horns like an like an oni or a demon you know and whenever she calms down her two hair falls down like you know like the horns go down which is which is so cool like you know this this little thing is so cool she even has red hair which mm, like you know uh, is similar to her name akako onigashima akako the red girl so <laughs> oh boy anyways she's getting crazy and 
like again when she got crazy like you know she's getting mad and then when the light goes becomes green her two horns goes down and she's like okay let me calm down and then multiple problems start happening there's like that random dude who's like in front of her then she like you know her headphones get tangled this is the one thing that happens so much headphones getting tangled it's so crazy i don't know why i, I think it's probably has something to do with static electricity you know why always like you know whenever even if you do nothing to your headphones it always gets tangled i think it has something to do with static electricity the scientific reason for it i think either way it's annoying you know like all the time it, it gets so tangled that it's freaking annoying and yeah i don't blame her for getting mad at that at least <laughs> now then her like you know like just shoelaces open and everything's like weird stuff's are happening and i'm like damn like she's angry that's one the, like one of the traits of her person like you know her, her character she's also unlucky i think like how can someone be so unlucky like in her all her <laughs> shoelaces are opening her headphones getting tangled weird stuff are happening anyways she goes to school and Tabun was like, okay, thank God Yamai is there. At least she's one of like, she's one of her friends. So maybe she can deal with her. Yamai just ignores her. She knows that if she actually like tries to talk to her, it'll be crazy. <laughs> yeah, when Tadun was like, wait, didn't you know her? Yamai is like, you know Tadano, you know, because of why what type of a person she is. You know, like, yeah, let's just keep sleeping and you know, like a beast uh, uh, asleep. Don't wake them up and then we get the little uh, uh thing the little what do you call that the the, the thing that fills up um <clears throat> gauge gauge yeah the little gauge of her uh, mad meter i would i'm going to call it that the amount of mad she is so stuff happens you know um her eraser she's trying to erase something it the, her whole uh, paper tears off you know like her <laughs> <laughs> headphone she, she was thinking of actually cutting it off for a moment there and then it's lunch time and like uh, yamai said whenever she eats something she becomes happy so she's eating her gauge is falling down but the drops fall on her uniform and she gets even more mad she's at 99.9 percent .9 and she's trying to clean his face her face and the thing almost drops komi comes and grabs it the earphone if the earphone actually dropped, she'd probably go crazy. So thankfully, Komi saved the day. And Komi also uh, untangled the um, earphone as well. And yo, yeah, she's happy. She is her, her little horns go down. <laughs> she's crying and she's like, Komi, let's go to a batting center. And everyone's at the batting center and then they kind of do a little, you like, know, baseball thing. And yeah. She becomes she she already was her friend but still we get an official introduction to her here okay the next one now again uh, the next or uh, the new character here is sato i think that's her name now as far as i know sato means sugar and as you know sugar is sweet the way the narrator was saying that she was you know amai to others amai means sweet like you know in the subtitles it was written helpful but the actual thing that the narrator was saying that sato is amai to others amai means sweet that is if you literally translate it the translation would be sato is sweet to others which like i said sato means sugar and that's the connection here again wordplay her name is sato which means sugar and she's sweet to everyone that's the whole thing about her and let me still double check her um meaning in her wiki there you go her name sato amami oh my god her first name is also amami amami means sweet you know sato is sugar amami is sweet amai or yeah something like that okay here you go her name sato amami is a homonym for the phrase sweet as sugar there you go sweet as sugar so yeah that's that's her name <laughs> and uh, okay now we see her going like you know, in her classroom just doing stuff like you know preparing everything like cleaning the desks and all and she always does that at the beginning uh, of the day and she always helps other whenever someone like you know drops a pencil 
you know whenever um someone's like oh i want to buy eat something like you know it's like that one girl was like go buy me a chicken cutlet sandwich <laughs> Tadana didn't even say anything and she's like okay <laughs> all right so she's in the sociology club okay now in the sociology club we get to meet two more characters here um maida oh my god her hills uh maida i love mills hoshio <laughs> this guy maida hoshio okay and ushiroda eiko is the girl's name now i got to i, I realized it in the end what the meanings uh, name uh, names me, uh, actually mean maida which means mai means in front you know mai that's why his name is maida because he sits in front of komi i think that's what he said yeah ushiro means behind which is why the girl's name is ushiroda eiko she sits behind komi ushiro and mai there you go simple <laughs> it's as if <laughs> it's as if their parents gave them the name because they knew that komi is going to <laughs> sit in the, in the middle of them <laughs> that's so so funny my god oh that's funny <laughs> okay now obviously the guy he loves you know like older women and you know when he's like <laughs> he's like south can you give me panties and then he says your mom's like okay and then not only mom she even goes to grandmother and yeah that's like a completely different you know like anyways that's him obviously ushiroda is like oh you're awful and Ushida is like, you need to understand that you cannot help everyone, you know. You actually need to deny people as well, you know. So, he's like, alright, let's practice. You're going to say no to me. And Tato is like, okay, I'm going to do it. And she's like... <laughs> alright, so, they kind of try, you know, like, and, and uh, Sato is like... I try, like, you know, Sato's like, I, I want to say no, but it actually feels nice to help others, you know. That's why I, I don't want to do that. And Ishwada was like, but you're going to get taken advantage of. And just as she was saying that, someone comes and they're like, oh, uh, Sato, give me the ball. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Sato's going and again, like, you know, there's multiple people who needs her help. Like, you know, someone's trying to kind of put something on the board. Uh, another person like you know needs some kind of homework help someone needs some kind of cleaning help this and that and she's again trying to tackle everything on her own helping everyone out when she goes to her classroom Tadano is there with a huge stack of stuff and she's like oh let me do it and she grabs everything you know? and I was saying like okay you could, you should, she could like you know help her him out no need to grab everything like that was the actual mm, problem with her you know she tries to do everything on her own you know, like even while helping others and uh, you know like when she was going uh, Komi comes in and Komi is like I'm also going to help and Tadana also came Tadana was like yeah like you no need to take everything you know let, let's take half of it and uh, all right you know all that stuff was happening and now Sato realizes that yeah like you know maybe i should actually ask for help you know i never ask anyone for help which is something that i'm glad that that's the that was the whole conclusion of this section like this section was like you know like kind of going towards the direction of like she helps everyone out so she needs to actually learn to deny people you know like she would be like no i don't i cannot help you but something like that that was the direction it was going which is fine, but I, I like the f fact that the way this ended was even better than that. She does not outright, like, you know, doesn't help others now, but she actually helps others and also asks for help. Like, this is better, you know, like, she, it's not that she needs to deny everyone or something like that. Like, you know, she, she should help everyone. But at the same time, she also should take help. That is the thing. That is the thing that is needed here. Help others take help from others that's the best everything is in balance so i love that that was the conclusion of this little section you know 
that she was able to understand that she can ask for help and you know like she she definitely needs to do that ask others for help as well just like everyone else is asking for your help when she needs it so she says like you know like okay you guys can help me out in the morning you know i kind of do these things before you come and always everyone was like yeah sure why not like you know we're going to help you out and uh, yeah she's like wow it's so difficult to actually ask for others help najmi was also like yeah i'm also going to help all right the final section i think that's the final section yeah the final section is where homi wants to ask uh, kato what she's doing and um, she's actually reading a book of shogi problems uh, it's called sume shogi um, that's uh, i think that's what it refers to it uh, i've heard this term so many times in sangasuno lion a march comes in like a lion it's an amazing anime if you've not watched you should definitely do that um you know in march comes in like a lion which is obviously shogi related this sume shogi always came and i like you know that's why i got to know that shogi is such a like you know like you know like you actually have to learn everything like there's so many just uh like you know uh combination of moves which you need to learn and there's books on you need to memorize and think about how you can apply it whenever someone applies a certain move you try to counteract it with another like you know set of moves which is already written down and something like that that's why you know like every, these books actually have these type of problems of they like you know they give some actual problems i think where you need to actually make up a move and do something how to counteract it. these type of problems shogi problems or sume shogi as she says and uh, she's like okay komi let, let, let's do this with me and she also brings in tadano as well because she wants to meddle with them you know oh she knows that he she likes tadano that's why now <clears throat> she gives them like a problem a shogi problem and she was like okay they're going to like you know talk about this and like you know like through shogi they'll like you know be uh, actually interacting with each other and it it's it will be so nice but these two komi and tadano starts actually arguing about a certain problem <laughs> uh, you know uh, she's like i did not expect this like you know, this is not the result i was expecting and kato is like you know oh my god what did i do anyways you know like komi and tadano like they're just talking about that kind of arguing a little bit and then they are brooding you know on in class not talking to each other najimi comes in and najimi is like oh let's go to the local construction site uh, this and that she was saying this weird stuff again and then she's like wait a minute what's happening why are you not talking and then she realizes and there's then the, she's like oh like you're so close that you can actually have quarrels now <laughs> and then they started blushing that was that was nice now this is another thing i've always i can just like a quote as well i think like in in japanese they kind of say that uh kenka suru hodo naka ga i i think that's what they say which is uh you're such good friends now that you can actually fight with each other this is this is such an interesting way to say it because um it's an actual fact you know like when you are new friends with someone you actually try to kind of you know like try to you know like keep a distance i would say like you know, keep to yourself and try to kind of smooth things and try to be extra nice to the other person because you are new friends you don't know what type of a person that other person is what would actually offend that person or what is okay to say this and that there's a lot of things that you don't know so you try to be extra nice try to be good to the other person and the other person also tries the same that's when you're new friends after you start meeting with that person and like you know keep being friends and there's like one year two year you're a long time friend now that's when you start having actual arguments with each other and you quarrel with each other as well because at that stage you know that a little bit of quarrel or a little bit of fighting is not going to destroy your friendship that's why you can do that at the first stage nobody tries to quarrel or do do anything like that because they're actually trying to be extra nice because they want to be your friend that's what why they actively try to do that but after a certain time 
they realize that ah, a little bit of quarrel would not do anything to our relationship we're going to fight today next day i will will be friends again that type of a security or like a thing is there with you and you know that this is temporary this fighting it'll be okay by the end of it so that's why you fight and you become you know and also you get to understand your friends bad qualities or not bad qualities i would say but the qualities that you do not like vice versa as well that the other person also gets to know your bad qualities and this and that that's why you also get extra pissed off at them <laughs> so this is such a like you know like a thing which is so true you know, like as you know as you become better friends you actually fight you actually have quarrels you actually have um you know like arguments so yeah anyways so that was it this was my reaction to when we can't communicate episode number two uh, um, sorry season two episode number 11 so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so that's it guys thanks for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode which is probably going to be the final episode i don't know i'm not so sure of komi can't communicate season two so until then goodbye and have a nice day